Not a bad place to start by the ocean. Nice day. So that's one of the gold horse chestnuts. Good old munch there, aren't you? Oh, this is amazing. Top of Ukulu, little diversion. First limestone peak, just above the cloud and hear the horses clanging. where I'll be going tomorrow morning. Hopefully gonna camp on the right hand side of where we can see. But this is such a view. This is my uh, pasta sauce that I <coughs> made in my food dryer at home. It's really good. And it takes um, 10 minutes to rehydrate just add some couscous or stuff. Yeah, excellent. Good meal, isn't it, tonight? So, uh, this is the human dustbin Mistaking that peak midi dozzle. Lovely at the moment. So this is the second chimney. It didn't look too bad an angle, but it's all down sloping holds, so I'll have to be really careful coming back down again. Oh, it's such a long way at this last bit. It's just walking up steep rubble. Oh, I'm getting pretty knackered. I did not have a good afternoon yesterday. Well, I didn't have a good day at all. Um, after the start I just felt tired, laboured a bit, and just felt sick all day. This was 
once glassier, just rubble there. Beautiful rocks here, smoothed by the ice. Well, I'm on the Vigna Mount Glacier. Really is very easy, I haven't bothered to put my crampons on, the snow's a bit forgiving. Here's some rock fall up there though, and I haven't got a helmet, so uh, I'll have to keep my eyes and ears open. Well, as you can see, it's more like Scotland here. Oh, this looks an absolute killer, this last bit. Been slogging up for 1200 meters or so, and I've got another good 200 and something up there. And what a position for the hut, jammed in the top of the pass. This is it inside. Very nice heater. The water's not too convenient, it's all the way down there. I can honestly say this is one of the most incredible places I've ever been to. That's looking at uh, towards Perdido. I'm going round this lake is incredible colour. That reflection. And then on this side to the Stazu peaks. And right up there, right at the top is where the uh, Bivy hut is. Absolutely fantastic. This is the remains of the glacier on Monte Perdido. That's where I'm going up there. Really is not much of the glacier left. This is the scree slope from hell here. So slippy, long. Oh, this is not a pretty route. You begin to think you've seen this before. helicopter's been going for quite some time. There were some uh, people that were shouting on towards some slabs. I uh, wonder if they got into problems. I'm just uh, coming up to the Carl on an Atto. I was just um, having a spot of um, something to eat and fish just came by, quite big ones. Right close. And I spotted some more. They're well stocked with fish. There's nobody here, it's very natural. Well this is my now gargantuan sack. Had to extend it to maximum capacity. I've got at least six kilos of food extra in there. So I think I'll be stopping every hour to eat some of it. Typical HRP terrain, absolutely no track at all. There's 
boulders and wiry grass. Looking around, pretty much the same, just more and more boulders. We'll be going, guess what, across boulders. That moment is fast approaching when I have to do the dreadful deed and put on wet socks, wet boots, because they haven't dried at all. It's really quite damp in here. And then damp cagoule, damp top, pretty much damp everything. Well, today definitely has a feeling of let's get it over and done with right from the start it's raining it's cold very windy so uh let's get it over with i've just been knocked off my feet it's very windy absolute gale Serta scan hut now. Wow, that was a, such a fight over the coal. The wind must have been, well, it was over 100 kilometers an hour. I got knocked down twice, hurt my hand a bit. Had to put my poles away because they, 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 well, I don't know. Uh, couldn't put them on the ground, they'd have just blown away. Um, wow, that was, that was really a struggle. Fortunately, I was with the wind. If I'd have been going the other way, there's no way I'd have got over that coal. Um, but I needed to get here to stay alive, so I did. This was my little system. You can see the metal doors on the outside, but to secure them, I had to use a, a spare um, lace that I had in my sack. And then this inner door, um, the wind was so strong it was coming through the steel doors so I had to place this very heavy steel bench against the door to stop it opening. So it was interesting going down those steps or coming up them rather trying to enter the hut because those big steel doors were quite heavy and the wind was such that there was a real danger of them um, flicking back and knocking you off the top of the stairs which would have been a, a rather nasty end to the trip. No doubt where I am, top of the peak de stat, covering the snow and some frost, but no view. Not a morning when you're racing to get up. It was a terrible night. Um, 
I mean, right from the start, the very, very gusty wind. I thought it'd be shelter, but it was blowing down the valley. And uh, the only reason the tent held up was I used these enormous boulders to peg it out. And then I dropped one on my foot and it hurt my nail. Oh dear. So you can see what I used to peg out my tent, these huge boulders because the smaller stones just blew away. Anyway, the tent stood up. Ah, it's uh, really grim this morning. All the paths are streams. It's going to be extremely windy on the path, the rat path. It's uh, not nice. Welcome to Mordor. So this is the path. My shoes are absolutely soaked. I'll tell you what, I'm glad I'm in here and not out there anymore. But by contrast, here we are inside. Just had a, a three course meal. So I've made up a massive pan of pasta, which I've got some for lunch, a big portion for tea, and I'll have some for breakfast tomorrow morning. It's always a balancing act when you're uh, stocking up on food. So this is a really good little shop here in Bouquet. Um And I've got about Good three days, but you have to eat a lot. So, got some packet of muesli that'll keep me going for longer. Some couscous. I've already eaten the grapefruit. Um, got some bread and stuff. Got um, thing of orange juice. Got baguette here. Um, what have I got in here? Pasty things in here. I've bought another baguette, some butter, some prunes, some jam, chocolate, cheese, nuts, another pack of nuts, sardines, some soups, some little um, pudding things, um, various bars. So you can see, it soon mounts up. It's a plus three in the chimney. Enjoyed it though. See, uh, looking down at the clouds, fantastic.
I managed to get a fire going, which is great. Took a bit of uh, work to start with, but then it was roaring away. But because I was short gas, so uh, I could boil it on here. Problem is, I don't know if you can see, it's made it absolutely black. So I'm going to have to put it in a bag. But uh, very good. So not quite in tune with the rest of the trip. I'm under the motorway between Spain and France at Le Perthus, which is an absolutely awful place. Great way to end, the water's actually quite warm, about 20.